Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heisa Minoso. I'm an abstract painter and today I am back with another amazing tutorial with abstract acrylic paint. So right now I'm covering up this one because I wasn't happy with the color and the composition. So I'm going to start all fresh. I'm using gesso and some variety of colors. I believe this one is um, blue violet. Yeah. And then I'm using yellow and using pink and using shells, the colors that my art show is going to have um, coming up this March. So, yeah. So, guys, I want to share something with you while I'm painting. There is a lot of people talking out there about you have to have your niche to be successful. I don't think that is necessary important in your art career as a full-time artist i think what is important is the more you create the better the more you paint the better the more things you experiment with you try new things the more you expand that idea of i want to do this and make it bigger and explore more i think that's what is important in an artist so I just want to share this a little bit with you because there is a lot of contradictions out there that you have to have your niche on your YouTube channel on your Instagram everywhere everything has to flow yeah I get it everything has to flow but at the same time you want to have a little bit of like spice here and there just make it as a PowerPoint just paint for a whole week like this way and then another next week do another series and different colors and just try new things I think it's very important for you to step out of your uh, comfort zone I think is uh, as an artist myself I find that when I try to keep a niche and keeping my mind just using the same colors and the same composition and the same thing over and over every day I don't think it's something that I want to do I'm not happy doing it I don't want to do it so there you go I paint whatever I feel like this morning I feel like painting two paintings with you guys and and that's what I'm doing and using obviously I'm trying to keep the same color because I'm just having a whole full series of 24 pieces and I want them to be in the same family but that doesn't mean that I can step out of my zone and experiencing something different like today I was just using a squeaker from a shower and I always use my palinite just to blend the white with the bright colors and again I'm using my black splatter because I love that it makes me feel happy so yeah if you want to be a successful artist guys just go be you explore try new things don't get those negativity those uh, bad thoughts from other people don't do this if you do that oh, I don't like this how about you do this can you try that don't paint for other people just paint for yourself I think it's very important that your heart and your soul is very happy with what you're doing because otherwise you won't last so just something that I want to share with you okay and I just came back from my vacation guys and it was so much fun I have a lot of video I have to edit a lot but I want to share every single thing that I did on my seven days all-inclusive in uh, Mexico so yeah it's gonna be fun so this is the final result a very simple abstract painting I just use like three four colors no more than that I keep it simple and it looks stunning I really love it it looks beautiful in any home decor so here it is are number two so this one is a 12 by 24 it's a very small one but I just uh, I thought at the corner of my of my studio and like you know what let me just do something with this because I feel that she's coming back from seven days not being in the studio uh, I don't feel rusted but I feel that I need to like get back into the same flow that I was before I left on vacation but also while on vacation I was journaling a lot you guys are following me you can see that I have few uh, I think I have day three on journaling and it has been helping me to grow and experiment experiment with different things I got this like um, a small little bottles that is like very detailed needle and the paint just came out and it's just amazing it's called the fine line applicator and I love it it gives the paint some extra definition and you know it, it has like 
more body work and it's it gets more curious for for the for the audience to look at it while you looking at it you just see little pieces here and there and lines and marks and strokes and bright color on the corner and then why over here honestly it's just it's just doing abstract anybody can do this guys honestly i am telling you uh in 2015 i started painting and the reason why i started painting is because I was challenging myself with another artist and say he can do that I can do it too so I, that's how I start I literally just went to the art store and I spent two thousand dollar Canadian in art supplies that I still have today I still have brushes from six years later <laughs> like honestly like if you don't you don't have to have much to create you can have one piece of charcoal one pencil a piece of paper and then you are you are ready to start any piece it's all about what's inside you just bring it all out and help yourself to let go you need to let go to be able to do abstract from my brother for example my brother he is more into realism he's more into detail work very professionist i'm the totally opposite but guess what he's very jealous of my work he wants to incorporate my abstract body work into his realism work which is like pretty cool. A lot of people have been doing that. They like have been doing like nudes and faces and bodies and incorporating a little bit of splash here and there. Just breaking a little bit of the point of being so simple and so specific and so detailly and the OCD of like, don't break rules, don't do this. Come on guys, honestly, you can do whatever you want. This is the, uh, this is the uh, fine line applicator, uh, fine tint that I was telling you about. I love the fine line that it makes and it's just like make the painting more interesting, you know? Like, anyways, going back to what I was saying, I'm all over the place today. I'm very excited. My studio right now and it's like 11.20 in Canada is not so cloudy, not so great, pretty, pretty good bright day. And I say, you know what? Let me start painting. Let me get in the momentum. Now I'm back to work and I can't wait to keep making paintings after painting. My art show is coming up soon and I'm very excited guys. It's going to be just an amazing. I have 24 pieces already done. I, 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 I'm dying to post them, but the thing is, like, I want to keep it as like, hey, you know what, you want to come and see what I got, you know, like a little secret kind of thing, so I like that, like the intriguing, like, oh my god, what she's going to, how many pieces does she have, how, what are the sizes and the colors, I only saw one or two of her painting for her show, I want to go see more, so this is another thing that I find that is very important as a full-time artist. Like you want to leave a little bit for the audience imagination. You know, you want, you want to make sure that they, they are curious and, and they ask questions and they sign up to your newsletter and they sign up for your next event and upcoming uh, products and stuff like that. You want to make sure that your audience is interested of your next product or your next video, your next painting. It doesn't matter what you create, doesn't matter what kind of artist you are. I think it's very important that you just let go as a whole and let everything just go with the canvas white canvas splash colors start don't think too much and let me tell you it it, it, it give you courage it, it, it bring you somewhere and what i'm doing right now it, it's just i'm playing with the colors the colors that i have for my art show what i mentioned before so what i'm trying to do is i'm still playing i'm not thinking about anything i don't even have a composition in mind i'm just following what the gold foil was in there before this is a very old canvas i put it on the side because i started and I never finished that's another thing guys if you start one thing just try to finish it don't do like me because then you have a lot of pile canvas all paintings and stuff and then you never finish them and it's sad so i bring all these old paintings today and this is my favorite part don't you love when you splash like that honestly guys tell me in the comment if you love a splashing paint on a canvas on a wall on any surface i think it's very satisfying anyways i just let you be enjoy the video this is the final result they look stunning thank you so much for watching see you in the next video